Good morning from a very exciting day at La Land. I am already down in the kitchen, raring to go, because today is take two of trying to install the log burners. Now, it's going to take a few days, but they're bringing the new cherry picker, the massive one that apparently will reach the chimneys, and they'll be clearing the chimney so that they can get the flues down. I don't hope. I'm really excited. The thought of being able to light a lovely wood fire in a log burner and stay warm until the big heating system is put in next year just feels too good to be true. Morning, Nathan. Morning. Uh, how do you think it's going to go? Oh, I really hope it's going to we get a lot further than we did last time. I just, I'm terrified. <laughs> I keep crossed. also expecting to hear a crunch as it goes through some pipes underfoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope not. Yeah, when we looked at the diagrams, we are a bit bit close to the ground here, really we? close yeah how heavy is this beast uh yeah this one's 15 tons we just started li clearing off the lorry now we have yeah. to go around into the second entrance not wanting to go over your bridge obviously yeah straighten up a bit mate nicely done watch out for the chickens <laughs> No offense to the chick is the least of my worries. <laughs> uh, we've done the calculations and we've got a bit more reach on this one, so it should be, should all go well. <laughs> That's what I thought last time. <laughs> I don't dare to hope yet. Bonne chance. J'espère. Tout va bien se passer. Please work, please. I think I've really started to think that our entire heating situation was cursed. I, I don't believe it's going to reach at this point. We got that high last time, so this isn't telling me anything yet, but looks as though it's still got a fair bit of reach in it. I love the roof of the tower that they're just climbing at the moment. It's so unusual and so pretty, like a little folly. It's still climbing. The problem is that last time it looked as though it was making it easily, but they said they actually had to move it over the roof so they could get right above the chimney and that's what it couldn't manage oh it seems to have come to a bit of a stop oh no they're swinging across they don't crash into the roof finding all of this a bit nerve-wracking i don't know it seems to be pretty near the end of its arm now it's still a long way to the top of that chimney and it's not just me wondering all of the peacocks have come around to have a little look at exactly what's happening one of them even just dropped a little poo i suspect it was an anxiety one Oh, hang on. I thought they were going to the chimney on the right and they swung right round to the chimney on the left. I see what is happening. They're starting with the winter salon. That makes sense. But how's it going to reach? <laughs> I love the fact that the cherry picker is now making an anxious sound. <laughs> so it's as worried about it as the rest of us are. I see a hand on a chimney. Surely that is a good sign. Is it me or is he looking a bit worried? Uh, no, what, what is, we finally got to the right top, so now um, what we'll be looking at is how bad it is inside. Uh, whether to see whether we need to do one or maybe even two debris strides. Is, is that a thing? You sometimes have to do two? Uh, yeah, sometimes I might have to do two or three passages. Um, and th this is the winter salon that you said smelt a lot of soot. Yeah, when we went in, I remember when we went to that room last time and we, we smelled it a lot does, of soot. It does, yeah. Running. Actually, so many people say, oh, I love the smell and this is such smell. a nice smell. It's lovely, but, but it's rather dangerous as well at the same <laughs> yeah. time, unfortunately. So that's the man who's planning to take our nice smell away. They've just shouted down to us that there are three conduits going through that chimney and they don't know which one leads to the winter salon. So I'm going with Nathan. We're going to shine a light up the chimney. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the grand salon, my problem's making sparks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was really pretty. It was like fireworks. <laughs> I love days like today where things are happening everywhere. Great, thank you. Where are you going? Because I don't see anything down there. We can see diddly squat from down here, right? Yeah, we can't see anything. Can he see the light? Yeah, you can see the light. Yeah, we're good. We can. We found out which one it is. It's quite a large chimney, actually. This is the Dibby's Taj machine. How does it work? Uh, so what we'll be doing is Christoph will be dropping down the line. Yeah. To attach this on onto. This then gets pulled up all the way to the chimney. Mm -hmm. And if you see all these small chains, they get pushed around in a circle by the motor. So they spin? Yeah, they get spin around. Uh, I don't know what kind of speed. Very high speed. And then um, when, when he's up there, he'll swish it around, so obviously. I get pushed around the whole chimney. So this room's about to get a lot worse, is what you're saying right now. The chimney's about to get a lot better, and the, the room's about, about to get, get a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll all go well. <laughs> and to plan. Is this it? 
Yeah, this is it going. You'll see it turn around every yeah. now and again. I'll be pushed off pulling it up slightly. And whilst it's doing that, we're doing a whole um, ballet in action across the whole chimney, which is good with this one is it's actually large all the length with the chimney all the way up. So it'll be, um, it's allowing us to get the whole... Um, oh, there it goes again. The, um, ...the chimney. It's quite quiet. I, with the change, I was expecting it to make a lot more noise than this. It feels quite gentle as though it's caressing the chimney. <laughs> Do you think there's stuff falling down yet? Yeah, oh, yeah, there is. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. Get through the murder room. Oh, uh, yeah. Everywhere. Less dramatic than I feared so far. How's it uh, going up there? Yeah, it's going quite well at the minute. Uh, so what they've just told me there, um, we're six metres from the top. It's quite clean. Uh, we're currently at seven metres from the top, but it's uh, looking rather dirty at the minute. So why would that be, that just the top's clean? Uh, what it normally is, was when, obviously, when it rains, the, the water just oh, comes out Oh, it actually the cleans it a little bit. Itself, yeah. So now they're hitting the reality. Yeah. So yeah, do you think it's going to be getting worse in the winter salon right now? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go and see what's happening inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Looks as though things are getting a little bit messier down here. Let's see if we can... Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was quite a lot of soot, to be fair. That was all in the chimney. I could see a little bit when it was falling, but that is so much more than I thought. And we've had that swept every single winter. We've been really careful about having it swept. All right, really? Yeah. yeah. Post office just told me there's a really weird way of keeping it clean now that it's finally been properly deep cleaned. So you épluche les pommes de terre. Oui. You faites sécher les pommes de terre. De l'instant où les épluchures de pommes de terre sont sèches, Vous les mettez sur les braises et, Pour vous, les continuez, et vous continuez à faire brûler. En fait, c'est un antibistre naturel. Mais vraiment, comment est-ce que ça marche C'est naturel, ça dégage un gaz qui va assécher toutes les parties, tout ce que l'on voit ici qui est du, du, du bistre en fait. C'est légèrement humide, c'est pour ça que ça se colle. Et euh, avec cette combustion, ça dégage un gaz qui assèche et que après, juste après un ramonage, c'est que de la poudre. On n'a plus besoin d'utiliser une machine aussi agressive que ça là. Et ça fait un ramonage. Quand on ramonne, on arrive à avoir des conduits en deux ans. Ah ben, on va certainement le faire cette année, cet hiver. Ah, le plus tôt possible sera mieux. Maintenant que la, la chimie est nettoyée à 80%, faites ça. Et euh, les prochains ramonages, la chimie, on va, on va réussir à l'avoir. <rire> d'accord, d'accord. <rire> c'est bizarre, mais on va le ah, faire. Je, je sais, c'est bizarre, mais euh, mon centre de formation, moi aussi, j'ai eu la même, ré <rire> même réflexion quand on m'a appris ça. Mais, euh, mais je, je suis témoin que ça marche très bien. Super. Ça, je peux, ça, je peux le dire. <rire> Et j'aime les pommes de terre, alors ça tombe eh bien. bien. Parfait. This is your favorite segment of the vlog, Maria Cam, and um, I've just been passing through to put some towels in some rooms, but uh, this is not happening. And there seems to be something weird going on with the digger. I think what's happening is they're taking the um, old um, fireplace base out because it was very, very heavy and very large. There we go, yeah, that's the base. I was right. Ha, ha, ha. Call me an expert. There it goes. Hail Britannia. We got it out. Yeah. What a pro. Maria just told me that super exciting things were happening in the courtyard, so I've come tearing round here. The old grate is already out, and Amory is just gently easing the new log burner into the room. What a cousin I have. I'm starting to let myself believe that we're actually going to be snug and warm. This magnificent green one is hoping that it will find a future of happiness in the entrance hall. There's a really lovely blue one that I found in England. This is waiting to come into my study, which uh, needs quite a lot of work doing everywhere, as you can see. But it will match the Murano chandelier really nicely. And the cream one is waiting to come into the winter salon. Look who is back! Oh, yeah. someone's very excited over here. <laughs> Immediately abandoning this lunch. Yep. The days and days of waiting are over. <laughs> Blush from the success of the winter salon being cleared. It's time to clear one that actually needs a flu putting down. I'm pretty sure it's going to fit because it did so well with the winter salon, but it is a bit further because they've got to get over that cute little tower I showed you earlier. Do not hit cute little tower. Hi! It's pretty tall! It is a bit! Nice view! Lovely, we've got a nice little rainbow over here at minute. Apparently they have just spotted an inscription on the zinc top of the little tower. So Nathan's going to try and get a photo of it. 
It's getting pretty close there. Now, it can't be that old because I know that the roof was redone probably in the 70s. What is on that inscription? Wow, it's the names of the roofers. Pretty exciting day at La Lanza today. Should we unravel it, mate, outside? If we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Si tu attends 5 minutes, on va le enrouler. This is going to be glorious. I actually think that this cream one in here will be very, very pretty. Next week is going to be pretty wildly exciting at that land if all of these get successfully installed. I'm going to be running around lighting fires everywhere. You should come upstairs and have a listen to the uh, the chain being spun around in the chimney. Really? Can you hear it? Because down here it sounded really gentle. I was like, oh, oh it's so gentle. You can hear it upstairs. In You're the serious? Oh, okay, let's go, let's go. Am I going to find this scary? Well, actually... I thought, I'll go and have a look what is upstairs while seals in your office, just, yeah. to see, you know, just to see if there's probably any damage or any soot coming out. But as I came up the stairs and got close to the room, I was thinking, God, I think it's taking the wall down. Oh no, don't scare me, you better. I think it's taking the wall down. I hope it hasn't by now. Yeah, I know. It was very loud. This is bad. There's still a wall. There's still a wall, but look. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to stay up there anymore because it's a little bit too stressful. This is the moment we have all been waiting for in the house. See, I mean, obviously you are very exciting, but the viewers don't know yet what is just, just down here with Ricardo. <laughs> Pugsley. Oh, he's so cute. He's the cutest thing in the world. How long have you had him? Two hours. Are you serious? Yeah. You brought Pugsy straight here. Yeah. I think he likes you a lot. Yeah. Oh, he's so darling. Approved. Water. <laughs> of course. He only likes his water delightfully still. Yes. <laughs> Dan, I'm very glad you're here. Come see Pugsley. Whoa. Hello. It's like everybody cooing around a new baby. Better than a baby. <laughs> wow, well, father of two. <laughs> it's a good bowl as well, Andrew. Yeah. Very it's good. Food, you quite it's literally animal. carry Pugsley around in that? No, no, this is for Pugsley's things. Okay, and Pugsley... Pugsley has a, a mess in the car. <laughs> I like what you wow. say, Pugsley goes in Pugsley's already having a better life better. than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually have time to do a normal sweeping of one of the chimneys and we've decided to do Philip's study. We can't even properly lift the things that are in front of the fire, these very old system to keep out drafts. Just don't seem to be able to lift it up. Oh la la, ça va? Oui. Oh, hang on. Getting there. It's going to stay. Yeah, if it goes up, it's staying up. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Félicitations! Oh, that's perseverance. Should I take the... Um, no. Je pense qu'on va la laisser comme ça maintenant parce que... I was really worried. <laughs> that's a big, big smile. Yeah, it is. That's like, there's another problem, right? <laughs> non, non, elle est, elle est, euh, la structure est très bonne. Ah, ça c'est quelque chose qu'on n'entend pas tous les jours avec nos cheminées. Okay, well, as soon as that's done, we can have that lit uh the christmas season will be much snugger <laughs> yeah excellent i mean not that these fires actually make a big difference to the heat in the room yeah, it's the log burners the, that do the but yeah they heat the soul yeah. it's pretty hard to leave today because it's just too too exciting but philip and i are going to the chateau de rosière to see mark and amy so we've got to jump into the car now and hope that we arrive before nightfall but knowing us seems pretty unlikely we are not good at getting into the car takes us ages but we're in the car we're on our way and super excited to see mark and amy i am so excited and we have never mentioned yet that you're so i'm really excited to meet her i'm and sure she's adorable 
wonder if it's going to be better weather. But they have heating. Oh, the luxury. I know. Sometimes I think I started my new channel just so that we could have an excuse to go to heated dwellings in winter. This is terrible. It's so mysterious. I mean, we'll be arriving at the Chateau de Bourgogne without being able to see it at all. This patchy fog is amazing. It reminds me of when we went to Kastenberg. Yeah, that's true. It's a very gothic novel again. Yes. I love it. Amy just texted us to say that we are now higher than the highest mountain in England. I know, it's so cool. Up, up, up we go. We're on a little mountain path now. This is the drive to the chateau. I can't wait to see it in the line tomorrow. Me neither. Could this be at the gates? Oh, the nice gates. They're so big. And still it goes on. My goodness. Here we are. This is it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's massive. Huge. Oh, it's oh, beautiful. the tower. It's beautiful. This is so amazing. You know, I've only seen it on okay, pictures. I'm actually just driving on a lawn now. This is surely going um, right. Well, this door open here. Hello. 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 Oh, it's so good to arrive. Hi. You're welcome. Come in. Come Thank you. Nice. Good to see you. And Juliet. Nice to meet you for the first time. Hello. Stay see you up. Yeah. And who's this? And this is Pepper. This Hello, is Pepper. Very excited. Pepper is a giant. Pepper, Pepper is a small horse. <laughs> Oh, I can't tell you how yeah. good it's to be here. It's lovely to see you. Hello. Lovely to see you again. How are you doing? Oh, oh, thank you. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love the floor in the kitchen. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. It is. It's gorgeous. Oh, 19th century. First things first, would you like a drink? Oh, yes, please. Oh, that, that's <laughs> music to my ears. Thank you. And a seat by the fire. <gasps> <laughs> All my favourite things in one go. Oh, and there's even something cooking on the fire. Oh, absolutely. We're going to have popiette. Popiette, I love popiette. I see Juliet's helping with the wine opening. Yeah, she's very good at that. Yeah, she's already a strong member of the family when it comes to the wine tradition. <laughs> and you do that. <laughs> Close. <laughs> she's learning. Yeah. And then you turn. Screw it into the cork. <laughs> she looks delighted by that. And again. You listen to the noise? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner was incredibly delicious, but it's about to level up, get even more exciting. So this is how creme brulee is made at Rosière. With a, what is that? It's um, a heat gun. Paint stripper? Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it works. It's working. Nice, look at that. It's doing such a great job. There you go. It's so lovely to see Mark and Amy again to arrive after a long journey. And honestly, we are in the most beautiful bedroom. I promise I'll show you around it in the morning. But now I'm exhausted and I'm going to go to sleep after a couple of chapters of this wonderful book that was written by Mark's great great grandmother about her travels in the Orient, in Egypt and Palestine. He showed it to us when I went to visit his sister's chateau and made a video about that. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it here. And one of my viewers saw it and so kindly found it and sent me a copy. And I've been waiting for the perfect moment to read it. So surely no better time than in Mark's own chateau. <laughs> This is what I like to call Balmoral Boyfriend. Mm, you right. really dress for the country here, Philip. Mm -hmm. Isn't this room so gorgeous? Beautiful. I love the wall covering that they chose. It's amazing. They are incredibly beautiful. And I love them because it really lightens the stunning panelling. Because I really like panelling like this, but it can get very heavy and dark. Yes. And these Isn't panels... No, these paintings within it. Oh just gorgeous it was such a comfortable bed as well i slept like a log yeah me too 
But I have to show everybody the view because I think that's one of the most yeah, amazing sure. things. I think they're really clever. Sure. Look, I just figured this out because this was like that. Yes. And I was like, why is that there? And I couldn't see anything on here, so I opened it. Little slot so you can slot this in so they don't open any further. And then it won't uh, slam. Exactly. That's very clever. And but also the shutters, yes. I love the shutters. Okay. Just looks like panelling. Yes. And then... Perfect shutter. This is what we want to do in the, in the console. Summer. I would love that. That's what I've been talking to Amory about. And it matches the top part of the window as well. Yes. It just looks like perfect panelling. So I think we can take some pictures uh, as in, in I'll take loads and then let's look outside. Do your window thing, Philip. Now, that is some view of the Ardèche. Now, I'm not sure, but I think if you look over there through the trees, those mountains might yes. be the Alps. They did say they could see the Alps. I think that probably is the Alps. Cool, right? Amazing. This place is vast. I love it. Now we get to go and visit the whole estate and explore the castle. And I'm filming all of that for a vlog on my new channel, Stephanie's Grand Tour of Europe. So that will be premiering straight after this video. Time to go down for breakfast. The corridor is so wide. It feels very luxurious. Wonderful. And the stairs are so shallow that you just glide down. I feel like you need the poor girl. <laughs> What's his name? Dandel. <laughs> Is he safe for Christmas? No. Yes, very safe. He's the cuddliest bird. You're making me want a turkey now. He's they so are cute. really, They're really, sweet really, birds. really nice birds. Mm. So cute. <laughs> you right, my boy. Isn't it idyll here, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> he tolerates my cuddles. The females tend to prefer cuddles. Her mother used to sit on my lap whilst I played the piano. Oh no! Yeah, she fall asleep for an hour or so. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us for more Chateau adventures. If you'd like to explore the spectacular Chateau de Rosière with us and discover its mysteries that span several thousand years, then you can go over to Stephanie's Grand Tour of Europe to see it now. I will put a link to it at the end of this video. And if you're watching in the live, this premiere will lead straight to that one. I'd like to say a special thank you to all of my patrons, especially Ludovico Zordanazzo, Yadeland Ether, Stephen Arnold, Bill Ballard, Dan Bander and Wailing Banshee. Thank you for supporting the Chateau Diaries. Lots of love to all of you from La Lande and I look forward to seeing you again on Thursday.